Okay. So it's recording now. I want to start at the beginning again, this problem. I, I stop in the middle of the problem, but I want to start again. Okay, this is the idea is do the graph of this rational function. So remember a seven step. Step one is factorization. So express this rational, well, when it's possible, sometimes no, but in this case, yes. And you copy two x squared plus nine x plus four. You multiply that number as eight. And the combination obviously is a time one because a times one is a multiplication and a plus one is nine. A plus one and nine, exactly the same. This nine is this. And this A is of course this. And you separate the trinomial 1, 2, 3, and polynomial 1, 2, 3, 4. Because I want to apply factorization by grouping. So is uh, 4 is A and 1, no? AX plus 1X plus 4. Mm -hmm. Now you factorization, you factorization grouping by grouping this and this, and this and that. The ECF in the first couple is 2x, x plus 4, and the GCF of the second couple is plus 1. Now I can see <coughs> x plus 1, plus 4, sorry, is a common factor. One more time, I factor out and I stay inside the last parenthesis 2x plus 1. Okay, this is so my expression in factor form is x plus 4 to x plus 1 divided by x plus 2. This is a step 1. In the step 1 also, you can see that we have no hole because there are no factors that we can cancel out. Okay? I suppose that everyone follow me, yes or no? Step two, let's compute the y and say let's evaluate the function in zero. Uh -huh, yes, evaluate the function in zero is four over three, because when you replace x for zero, this part disappears, this part disappears, this part disappears. The only guy can stay alive is four and three. Or there, can, you know, in decimal is 1.3. This, this is approximately 1.3. No, actually 1.3, repeat it. Okay, now step uh, two. Step three is computed x in a set. And the, the formula is f of a, a, h of x equals zero, is equivalent t of x equals zero because I don't care the the denominator only care the numerator because so I want to take advantage in factor form. Yeah, I take this factor. Look, I copy, I copy x plus 4 to x plus 1. And you separate using the zero factor property. One factor is x plus 4 equal to 0, and one factor is 2x plus 1 equal to 0. And the answer of this is negative 4. And the answer of this is negative 1 half. No? Negative 1 half. Yes. Negative 1 half. So we obtain, when we have one point, I forgot to say, it's 0, 4 third. I plot that. I have two new points, is negative 4, 0, and negative 1 half. 0. Good. We have three points. Okay, now step four is the vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote is you take the factory four and you take the polynomial in the denominator after the simplification of everything, but in this case, no simplification of anything, and you take x plus 3, and you put it equal to 0. So the formula is guy cube x equal to 0 after the simplification. So we can have it. Mm -hmm. So now we have this vertical asymptote, 
Entonces, this is a moment, you know, que I like to start a little bit, no to accuracy, uh, the basic idea of this. This is zero, this is over the number line, negative three, is negative one, negative two, negative three. This is our vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote, we have only one. It's obvious, no, because the degree of the polynomial, the denominator is degree one, no solution. But we have uh, in the x axis, I guess, the, this idea, x axis, we have negative four, mm, negative four comma zero, and we have negative one half. Okay, so those cases here, negative one half comma zero. Okay, so now, for example, in my paper, let me check in. I select, and the moment I did this in my paper, I select, for example, I select negative five, like additional point in this interval. I select negative two. Uh, this is negative three, this is negative two. Yeah, negative two. A little bit before the x in a set negative four. After, you can select in a middle here, but no, I don't care. Uh, negative two, this is completely arbitrary. Uh -huh. And one was good. This is the minimum point. As you select more, much better, right? Okay, now let's move on to the step five. It's super, super important. Step five is determine a, a horizontal asset or line. And we are doing one more time the degree analysis. Okay, I want to copy the original of polynomial. It's 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 divided by x plus 3. I can see clear that the degree of the polynomial in the top is 2. And the degree of the polynomial in the bottom is 1. It's linear. Therefore, when this situation happens, of course, we have no Chung chung horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote we have only when the degree is the same or when the degree at the, the bottom is bigger. Okay, it's a specific case. But in this case, no, it's a slam. We call at least satisfy the condition that the degree is greater than one. Uh -huh, now in order to find the, the slam asymptote, you perform or the long division or the synthetic division. Let's do it in both ways. The student can prefer long division. Okay, no problem. Long division. But you know that we can do using synthetic division. And the reason is because the denominator is linear. Okay, so you set out the long division format in that way. Uh -huh. So you, the, the expression can multiply by x. Give me 2x squared, 2x. And 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2 times 3 is 6x. Positive, right? When nobody is subtracting, you change the sign, everything. That part is gone, and we have 3x. I feel it, no, no, not yet. I bring down 4. Now it's plus 3. Because 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 3 is 9. By subtracting, put negative both. This is cancel and it's a negative. Okay, this, this expression, another possibility to express this algebraically equivalent 100% is 2x plus 3, case the quotient, minus 5 divided by x plus 3. This and this guy is the same. But now you see clear, in my opinion, that this part corresponds with slang acid. Now remember, slang acid is a line. Y equal to x plus 3. And this is super easy to do the graph because you remember the, the slow in a cell for mx plus b. Your identification clear that b is 3. Uh, B is the Y in a set of this land asymptote, another function of 
from a choice different and it's lower too and we are doing the graph this is slow okay and that's it well, i don't know no let me try better well, let me, by curiosity curiosity suppose it's only to say no 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 i don't like this let's do it in scientific division okay no problem you put in the scientific division two nine and four so you put a coefficient two nine and four two nine and four whether without x and you divide by negative division. actually is the only difference in between scientific division and long division in the long division no you put your original binomial here you put the opposite side. And the idea behind this is super fantastic because you don't need to change the sign anytime. You multiply or subtract, you multiply or subtract, you multiply or subtract. No. You change the sign one time and that's it. Bring down two, multiplication is negative six. It's a three, and three times three is negative nine. And negative five. Okay, so this negative five is this remainder. It's the same answer. And this binomial gets two x protein. If this last. Super cool, eh? Either way, guy. Super, super, super. Mm -hmm. Now, I need to investigate. I need to investigate. Because sometimes happen that our graphic crosses the line. So I want to investigate this idea. Look, this is my graph. I don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, suppose this like that. Boom. Boom. And we have a slam. The slam has into S9. So by the way, it's 2x plus 3. No? I want to investigate if the curve, the red color cross or no, the slam. Uh -huh. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. It's very, very weird. But sometimes yes. To say now to investigate this is super easy. You copy the original function, that's 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 divided by x plus 3 and you enforce it to be equal to x plus 3 because it's a slant acid and this specific point I try to find I don't know if it's possible or impossible there are perfect coincidence between the curve and red color and the acid okay now let's do it just a cross multiply 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 is equal multiplication 2x plus 3 times x plus 3. Okay, let's do it. Foil, you foil, multiplication to binomial. This is 2x squared plus 9x plus 4. You foil here is 2x squared. Uh, plus six x plus three x plus nine. Okay. Good, good, cool, cool. Now I can see. Wow, look at that. This part is cancelled. It's the same in the right and the left. We can delete and stay alive. Only nine x plus four equals six plus three and nine x again plus nine. And you see now clear there's a contradiction. Yes or no? Suppose that you don't see the contradiction. Okay, I continue solution. So it's 9x minus 9x. I move 9x to the left. It's equal 9 minus 4. And this is 0. 0x, let's see. And this is 5. And it's a completely false statement. That means that the hypothetic point that I, I plan to find do not exist. That never my graph cross it the slant acid. Never. Okay, so now what is the step six? Symmetry. It's obvious that no symmetry because my rational function is a combination even odd even so when you have combination even and odd, mm -mm, it's neither. It's so no symmetric. Therefore, to plug in additional point, the last point, you plug in different value. I plug in negative five. Remember the analysis that we are doing here in the number nine. I select 
three guy at least, negative five, negative two, and positive one. Okay, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in where? Plug it in, in the original, no? The original. H in negative two, and H in positive one. Okay, this is two times negative five square, plus nine times negative five, uh, plus four divided by negative five plus three. Uh -huh. So say this is 50 because negative five squared is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. 50 positive. Minus 45 because it's 9 times negative 5. No? Plus 4 divided by negative 2. And the answer is negative 9 over 2. No? Because 50 minus 45 is 5. Positive. Plus 4 is 9. Similar, plugging in, plugging in. The answer is negative 6, and the answer is 3.75. Uh -huh. We have three additional points, R, negative 5, comma, negative 9 over 2, uh, negative 2, comma, negative 6, and 1, comma, positive 1, of course, 3.75. Okay, I plot that. Of course, I open this most. Don't watch the time doing one stupid piece of paper. No, 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 no. I open this most. I put the function. Let me show you. I want to share the 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 screen of the desktop that I did the analysis. Okay. Okay, do you see? Uh -huh. This is this example. Look at that. The most important point are look at the y and z case. This guy, look. This is the y and z. Look, y and z is 0, 1.3 repeated. And we have two zero. One zero is in negative one half, okay? negative point five, point five. Comma zero and negative four. Yeah, I plot. Remember two asymptotes. Asymptot. My problem contains two asymptotes. One vertical, get this. And one slam, get this. Okay, of course I put elegant, beautiful. I put in black color dotted line. Here I plot the super fantastic additional three point. Okay, it's this, this, and that. It is negative 5, comma, negative 4.5, negative 2, comma, negative 6, and 1, comma, 3.75. Enough. Enough. Remember, you plot that in your parent detail. I need detail. I need the seventh step. But don't do in the paper. You are doing this, and after, you go here, and you share the graph. Uh, you export. Wow. And you select the style game one practice this and download the image and attach to the test. Right? Uh -huh. Remember in Alex, get the homework and test online. You don't need to print out anything. You working online, yeah, checking online. Done. And the uh, reading test on paper, yes. You need to show me in detail any step of your work and attach me the image in, in this image. Everything is clear, guys? Super cool? Fantastic. We are the best or no? Yes. Okay, let's move on to the last topic. In my opinion, super, super, super easy super easy but i want to do a lot of problems to illustrate very well maybe next time we start doing the review package okay i will say soon no not today uh -huh. so, so now the topic we discussing now is polynomial and rational 
inequalities. Okay, we don't see. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Three times. See here, what? Now you see. Okay, polynomial. Uh -huh. Good polynomial rational anyway. So you know very well polynomial. You know very well rational function, but that now inequality. So there are many, many ways to solve this. I want to explain my way, of course, because I consider it is good. Uh -huh. uh, this way is a combination, a little bit algebra and a little bit graphic. That is the, the thing is powerful. That is no big deal, it's super easy, it's like a game. Okay, you apply some algebra and after you apply one part is graphic. So, okay? In the test, in the reading test, I want to see both parts, the graphic part, the algebra part, and finally we finish using one table. Okay, no more blah, blah, blah. Let's do an example one. Example one is about polynomial. For, for a moment, polynomial. Is x cubed plus 2 x squared minus 3 x is greater than 0. Okay, this is non-linear. This is polynomial, degree 3. Uh -huh. so, uh, we cannot solve it in the traditional way that we are doing in intermediate algebra. In intermediate algebra, you suppose you have 2x plus 3 greater than 5. Ah, I see, see, you move with it, 2x greater than 5 minus 3 is 2. 2x greater than 2 divided by 2, no problem x greater than 1, and you express the answer like that, or another way, an interval notation. I prefer always in this subject interval notation. I want to explain in detail. But the thing I try to explain is impossible. Solving this nonlinear in this way. No algebra. You use a combination of algebra and, um, and graphic. OK, now, <clears throat> what is the first thing you should do always? So you have you have in this inequality the left hand side expression and the right hand side expression. In this case, zero. I highly, highly know, mandatory, recommend the right hand side always must be zero. Okay, you see another example that I present today, no? In which no zero, but you need to manipulate algebraically our inequality. In order to right hand side must be zero all the time. Then you move everything to the left, maybe. Okay, now factorization. Extremely important. Factorization, factorization, and the regular factorization, you know, or scientific division, because you know factorization using scientific division and polynomial, no? But in this case, super easy. The great common factor is x and you factor out x we have x squared plus 2x minus 3 greater than 0 and now you see factorization of trinomial mm -hmm. so says x open to new parentheses because you have two binomial x x and the combination is 3 and 1, no? because 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 minus 1 somehow is 2. And the signs are positive and negative. Super. And I enclose in, in the box this inequality, okay? of course equivalent to the original, however it is more clear to analyze. Okay? Right hand side 0, Completely factorization on the left hand side. Nice. Now, what is the next step? The next step is you temporary, temporary, you convert these two equations. Temporary. And the solution for the equation is equal to the solution for the equality, professor? No. But help me to find that. Okay, I, I delete mentally 
this sign gets greater than or less than, depending on the problem, no? And I put equal sign because I am familiar with the equation. And does it now, one more time, you apply the zero factor property, the first solution is zero, the second solution is negative three, and the third solution is positive one. And this guy, zero, minus three and one, they are critical. Body. And this is super important in the analysis. I call the acronym CB, critical body. So I finish in this moment the algebra. I move on to the graphic part. The graphic part is important. You are doing the algebra part and not the graphic part. Zero for you. You draw the all real number line. Positive infinity, negative infinity. And you are doing the partition of this all real number line using the critical bar. The first is zero. Zero is at the middle here. Mm -hmm. Two is negative three. Negative one, negative two, and negative three. Super. Another partition. And the third partition is impossible. And so we have three partitions. And three partitions represent one, two, three, and another color by light, yellow. Four intervals. It's logical, right? And you pick totally arbitrary testing point. It's a new concept. Testing point. It's a point that we are using for testing. The statement gets true or no or false. And each interval, for example, in the blue interval, I test, I select testing point negative four. Suppose que another student select negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative one hundred. The answer doesn't change. I promise, because it's it's a point that have the same characteristic because belong to the blue interval. In my paper, I select negative one here. Another testing. In my paper, I select here, this is small interval, positive half. In my paper, I select positive. I prefer select close to the partition, no? but I don't know, it's okay if you select three, four, five, no problem, it's the same. Okay, now, everyone follow me so far? This is the testing point. All right, let me write here, testing point, record. Uh-huh, nice. Super easy, testing point. Now, to test in this point, well, no, you can, you can, if you want, plug it in one by one into the original equation and verification the true statement. But no, I prefer another way. I prefer another fantastic way. I accept any way, any smart way I accept. Some people like plugging in the testing point directly in our expression, but no, I prefer doing it that way. You create the table. The first column is testing point. Okay, actually, we have four. Negative four. Negative one. Half. And two. Instead of evaluate in the original function, no, 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 no. I am evaluate in factor by factor. I select, for example, this factor. I select, for example, this factor. I evaluate a sister, no? You can do mentally, maybe, this factor. So we have three columns, one column for the x, one column for the x plus three, one column for the x minus one, and one extra column, column I call total because it's the column that summarize the information for that. 
Some people know, some people want to go directly to the total. How you go directly to the total? You plug in this here and that, and that expression. Okay, it's equivalent to this expression. Okay, no, no, I, I want to do to say. It's super easy, look. And I, I don't want to write, I don't want to write the values. You know, I want to write the signs. Negative four, suppose negative four, plug in x is negative, right? And you put negative. Negative four, you plug it in and this is negative four. I want to do one time. But this is mentally. Negative four plus three and negative one. But I don't put, I don't care the value. I care the sign. The sign is important information to give me the solution. And negative four and negative one together, negative five. But remember, we have three factors in my problem. One, two, three, yellow, orange, and blue. And now multiplication, negative time, negative time, negative, and negative. You put negative and you enclose in the symbol because it's an important conclusion. So three negative, and negative. Two negative, multiply, of course, we are talking about it's positive. Four negative, it's positive. So the, when you have even number of negative, it's obvious that it's positive the sign. So you have odd number of negative is the negative. And the positive, mm -mm, it's not important. Don't, don't control the sign of the, only the number can control the sign is the negative, the negative value. The positive value, no, do not afford information. Uh -huh. So negative one is negative, again, Negative one here is positive because negative one plus three is positive two, and negative one, negative one is negative. We have two negative, this is positive. Remember, the important column is the last one. Okay. Now, one half positive. Oh, it's positive. One half is positive. One half minus one is negative. Therefore, it's, it's negative because we have only one negative. We have two is positive, we have three and negative. And two is positive, is positive because of five. And two minus one is positive. Uh -huh. And we almost finish because now we go, go, go to the beginning, beginning, beginning. And this is super important symbol. Look, let me show you, let me show you. That symbol. That symbol. And that symbol is greater than zero is equivalent to say to be positive to be positive and the positive guy in our problem is this and this conclusion the testing point negative one is located in the interval green past the test Chum. the testing point two is located in the yellow interval past the test Chum. and the other guy failed no good, completely completely false. The only true statement is this and this. Not always. Don't confuse the idea. The positive is true. No, no, no. Depending. See our problem. I change this for less than zero. This another perfect problem. And to say it's completely negation that the negative is true and the positive. You understand very well this. Okay, to say what the answer, Professor? Well, the answer is, okay, what the answer, Professor? The answer is, well, 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 uh, the, uh, suppose the answer, I express the answer in interval notation, always in the test, I say, compute solving this inequality and please express the final answer in interval notation. The interval notation is parenthesis, a from negative three to zero, no? It's the green interval. In this case, from negative three to zero. This is the green interval. No? In this case, no include the endpoint. Because our inequality is a strict inequality. Suppose another uh, example that we're doing today, of course, case no strict is greater than or equal to zero. To so include them, okay? Uh -huh. Because they are coincidence 
between the critical value and the solution. But in this case, no, because our problem is strict and equal, so no. Parenthesis, parenthesis. Uh, another interval is the green, is one comma infinity, because this continues forever to infinity, and you put together like a unit. And it's the answer. Fantastic. Any question? Okay, to send the test, I want to see everything. Let me recap. Step one, uh, try to do get the right hand side of the inequality always is zero. In this case, was was zero. Okay, super. I like that. So I know that I need to generate this. The, the my, I focus on the left hand side. The left hand side is a is a polynomial. Yeah, I do the factor research. It's problem. So, step two. Now you temporarily you convert inequality, the new inequality to equation in order to find the testing, the critical, sorry, value. The critical value is my frame that help me to make the partition in the old random model. And when you have partition, you identify each interval by the testing point. And you or you plug it in directly in the original expression, that's possible, or you plug it in one by one factors. Uh -huh. Remember, the control of the sign of the polynomial depending only for the number of negative you have in the factors. So you have even number of negative, it's possible. So you have odd number of negative, it's negative. Okay, now we go back to the original inequality and verify it's greater than zero, say so greater than zero, then the positive guy is the true because the negative is false. Good. Good. Uh, professor, I learned how to do this different way. Okay, wait. Okay, different way. Yeah, yeah. There are many ways to do this. There are many ways. Uh huh. Okay, okay. So you are doing in another way is correct. I accept perfectly. Okay, to so say now. So, so some tutor and some student and some teacher explained this before omit the table okay no problem i'm plugging in directly here right uh -huh. another classical way is separate this for example you have three factors that you see x greater than zero and x plus three greater than zero and x minus one greater than zero. But this is crazy because it's only one possibility. We have a combination. So positive or negative and three guys, you have positive, 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 or positive, negative, negative. And Torah, I don't want to write, you have a combination. Uh -huh, and you solve it one by one, one by one, one, one and finally you intersecting everything. But this is crazy. So I want to avoid this. I want to avoid the way to evaluate is yes, using table or without table. It's not important for me. Is it clear? But when I, I, I like this way. That is the reason I explain this way. So you like taking, so you don't like using your own. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on to example two. Today is example of the. Polynomial, 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 polynomial. When you are boring to do polynomial, polynomial, we start rational, rational, rational. And they are super, super interesting example. And they are a special case. I explain now the regular case, the most obvious case. But sometimes we have a special case. Example two, now bring me new situation. Suppose x to the four, greater than or equal, four x squared. Wow. What the hell is that? Okay, this problem bring me different new situation. The first new situation I can see is that the right hand side is not zero. And the right hand side, I know, it must be zero. And the reason it must be zero is clear. Because when you are doing the table or not, they will basically, the thing that you investigate is positive or negative. Because so at zero, you're supposed to get the neutral level. You're supposed to get the level of the C. And your verification says 
above or below. So under the water or, or above the water. The, the, the level zero is super important to compare the answer and the inequality. Okay, so now, but this is easy, Professor. I, 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 I move everything to the left, no problem. And I have zero on the right hand side. Also, always, you should do this. Uh, a new thing I bring in this problem is that there is no strict inequality. It's inequality like that. It's a combination inequality and equation. You see, this symbol is greater than or equal to. So it's this symbol or this symbol, or both. Uh -huh. Therefore, this brings me new situation. Okay? But okay, okay, no problem. I factorization again. The great couple factor is, in that case, x squared. I factor out x squared. We have x squared minus 4. Oh, I feel it. No, because we have binomial. What kind of binomial? We have difference of a square. Okay, the formula you remember is something like that. Suppose so, you remember very well this formula. So, so this is x square. I bring down, but this I open two new parentheses. And the square root of this guy is x, and the square root of 42, plus one. It doesn't matter the order, and this is the new inequality. Okay, by the way, it's 100% equivalent to the original, but the original, nobody understand anything, and this is clear. I'm ready to analyze using the critical value, partition, blah, 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 blah. Okay, critical value is the next step. You take exactly the same left-hand side, but you put equal. But this example is different to the other example, because in this example, the solution for this equation belongs to the solution for the problem. Because in the other case, no. In this case, yes. Because it's the combination inequality and the inequality part, inequality part, you solve it exactly the same we are doing before. But the equation part, well, I am doing now, is that part. You apply the zero factor property, x squared equals zero, k is equivalent to say x equals zero. Because you apply square root both sign, no? they are square root zero, it's obvious that zero. And zero have no sign plus or minus. No, no, no. Zero is zero. X plus two is equal to zero, therefore x is minus two. And x minus two equals zero, therefore x is positive. And this is the collection of the our critical value to help me to make a partition of the all real number line. It's a negative infinity, it's a positive. Zero. Partition zero. One, two. Positive two. Partition and positive two. Negative two. Partition and negative. Three partition, four interval. This color. This color, this color, uh -huh. uh, uh, yellow, I like yellow. Okay. You take testing point inside this. In my paper, I don't know why I select negative three. But this is the testing point now. the record. In my paper, I select negative one. In my paper, I select positive one. In my paper, I select positive one. Doesn't change, so you select different one. Always you select one inside each interval, the behavior is the same. Same behavior, same side. 
Now, create the table. Upload it in direct. Uh, no, in the original. No, no. And the, and the new one. This is the new one. This is the original. The horrible original. Nobody using this. No. The new one. Oh, step by step in the table. Either way. TP. What mean TP? That's important. Negative three. Uh huh. Uh, Nearly one. Uh huh. Positive one. And positive three. Okay. What is the fact that involved in my problem? O x square. Look at this guy. Two more. This guy, orange color. This guy, blue color. X minus. Uh, X square, one color. X plus two, another color. X minus two, another color. And extra color, which is dollar. In which you condense and summarize all things. This is the important color. The other is complementary. No, everything is important, no? If you fail, make a mistake in one, the total column uh, have a mistake and your conclusion is completely And do you see, intention, I did this example to illustrate one new idea. New, new, completely new idea. When you square here, you see the negative three square at nine, at positive. Because this column is always positive. You see? Because it's a square. And regardless, See the number is negative. We're positive when you square become positive. Yeah, I say in one moment, and the other example, the positive do not participate in the game. Okay, you can ignore. Uh -huh. Entonces, one, okay, to say I anticipate okay, in this example, I ignore perfectly this code. So you mentally shh, delete them. Okay, and in a short way, you see. The factor that contain even spawning, you can delete. Uh, I want to explain more in detail in several examples we are doing after this, and I generalize this idea. But in this case, perfect. And when this even delete, well, why? Because it's always positive. And so I focus on the rest. Also, actually, in the real life, when I start doing this problem, I detect in this situation, immediately I erase this. I erase this. Yeah, I don't incorporate anything. No. Okay? But okay, okay. I don't know how on those this <laughs> And the other board, white board, yes, I can do that, but at least not. Okay, don't, no problem. This is x squared. Uh -huh. Entonces, I want to explain in detail the idea, the rule of the delete, the even. Okay, explain a little bit, but not, not completely. So you mentally delete this. No important. The important is this and that. This is negative because negative 3 and positive 2 are negative, and negative 3 and negative, double negative and positive. Negative one is a positive. Negative one and negative is a negative. Positive one is positive. And positive one is negative. Is negative again. Okay? And three is positive. And positive because three minus two is one. Okay. okay. So now I come back at the beginning. The beginning say greater than, greater than, or equal to zero. This is equivalent to say synonymous to say positive, to be positive, and to be positive is this and that. Therefore, the testing point, the past the test was this and that. This no, fail. Mm -hmm. another, another guy using different notation, using positive, negative, uh, negative, positive. It's the same. It's the same. Either way. Any smart way I accept in the test. Uh -huh. Therefore, this is true. 
This is true. And it's all true or false. And therefore, the final answer is perfect. Wait a second, wait a second. I need to integrate. This is the new idea. Well, there are several new ideas in this problem. The new idea is I integrate the this interval blue okay, is uh, from negative infinity. So the final answer. Let me try to write final answer is from negative infinity to two, to negative two, comma negative two, but include a negative two. And the way to indicate is include the endpoint is using a square bracket. So you have parentheses, no included the negative two, but negative two is a solution for the equation. And remember, our problem is the combination, equation, and inequality. Therefore, I include both. We can copy separately if you want, but uh, finally, I need to integrate. And the most elegant way to integrate this is in that way. Another piece, another piece is the purple color. Okay, or we pass this bracket to comma infinity by the same reason, include two, because two is solution. But don't forget zero, because okay, zero is solution of the equation. And zero is one isolate point. Look, 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 look. You put a bracket here, look, bracket, bracket, bracket here, bracket, bracket, bracket here, bracket, bracket, bracket here, but zero is also solution. And zero is one isolated point in the middle of the dessert. Okay? And we have nothing here. However, zero is also something. Zero is an um, isolated point. You put like a color bracket. Remember, it's similar. When you solve in the equation, then you see the equation solution of one, two, three. You put one, comma, two, one, comma, three, and separate by this curly bracket, no? And this is zero, get solution for the equation, and you connect it by union, union, union. And it's the final. Two interval and one isolated point. Any question? Do you understand very well or no? There are a, a lot of questions uh, in the airs. Uh huh. Understand? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. uh, you believe that you understand 100%. However, I want to prove that you don't understand 100% completely. So, so now I want to study in detail now the idea behind the, the when you delete the exponent here or no. Let me explain in detail several elementary examples to illustrate this idea. Okay. Oh, with the, this is, I call it special case. And you need to be aware of the special. Okay, special cases. You need to be aware for the special case, because sometimes it's tricky. But help me do simplification my problem. Suppose x minus 5 times x minus 4 squared. Greater than or equal to 0. Uh, instead of solving considerable, no, 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 you ignore the exponent even, you delete, totally delete. Uh -huh. This is equivalent, 100% guys, to write x minus 5 alone, right now it goes. And the reason is clear, that part is always positive, or zero. Uh, that, that part is totally irrelevant in our inequality. Therefore, you mentally did it, totally did it. And focusing in that part is super easy. Wow, it's doing X. This is no, no complicated inequality. It's the inequality we are doing in intermediate algebra. X greater than or equal to five. And the story, however, you want to express it in interval notation because in the test always they ask you interval notation. What the hell is doing? This is my organ number line. This is zero. This is five. One, two, three, four, five. And the interval is from five to infinity. It's greater than. It's in that direction no? because it's greater than. Include, of course, the five. And the symbolic way to indicate this, put the, the 
square bracket, ¿no? Entonces, eh, phi, coma, infinito. Okay. This, is, this, this, this statement is equivalent to this graph, is equivalent to this, and this is interval notation. Okay. The notation that we are using to express the final answer in every test. Y en, y, en, y en Alex. Alex one que yo expresé el answer online. Cool. This is, the, this is the first special. Uh -huh, let me complicate your life. The second special. Uy. The second special is similar. Es similar. Suppose. Uh, let me see. Yeah. It's good. X minus three. X. Minus four square grade dancing. Oh, it's similar. The only thing I change is five and three. Okay, but this is no important uh, changing. The important changing is equal sign here and no equal sign. Here. Look, no equal sign. And this change completely the meaning of the problem. Why? Because, see, you delete mentally, totally, totally delete this. You make a mistake. You partial, 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 delete, partial, partial, delete, delete. Yeah, partial, delete, partial, delete, 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 delete. Why partial delete? Ah, the reason is partial is because. Si you suppose que the interval is x minus 3 greater than 0, similar to the other, x is greater than 3, okay, similar to this. However, what happened in 4? What happened at x equal 4? Happened something weird. And the something weird is, let's see, suppose plug it in 4, 4 minus 3. 4 minus 4 is square. Now 4 minus 3 is 1, no problem. 4 minus 4 is 0, 0 squared is 0. And 1 times 0 is 0. And 0 is no greater than 0. But this is a contradiction. Okay, do you see the, the, the problem, no? Don't worry because I solved in this in a few seconds. So now, when you see the our inequality is no the combination inequality and equation, it's just a strict inequality. You apply this rule. Look. You partial delete. What mean partial delete? Partial delete means okay, you copy mentally, you delete x minus 4 squared and you copy. This is equivalent 100 percent to the x minus 3 greater than 0, positive, and no 0, no 4, so no 4. Because in 4, I have a problem. And four, I have a mistake, and that's it's like a hole. Let me let me let me try to understand this. This is my Oreo number line again. It's the negative infinity. This is a positive infinity. Okay, I saw with this inequality. Sorry, I forgot. I copied x minus three greater than zero. This is equivalent to say x greater than three. Okay, no problem. This is zero. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four and this is five. But this inequality is from three to infinity. Okay, I understand. Well, this idea say that we have exactly in for a whole. But actually, the solution for the, this inequality is no one piece. It's two piece. One piece is from from three to four. No include three, no include four, and one piece from four, no include four to infinity. So the answer is parentheses, three comma four, union, get that part, union, four comma infinity. Comma, 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 comma. This is the answer. But basically, is you solve in this part. But you include one hole in four. 
práctico de solution X y for. Ajá, entonces tú dónde está, tú apply the rule en 5 seconds. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You copy the exponent que contain eh, exponent odd. Maybe one, or maybe three, or maybe five. You copy exactly the same. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the exponent gets even. And our inequality is no equal, no equal, sino es strict inequality. You put the whole. Uh, suppose that we have x minus, minus five square again here, a continuation. So it says and x no five, right? But we have to hold, no hold here. But no, no, no. This is not the case. I try to, I, I have more examples to illustrate this idea. Okay, so now the most important, totally delete or partial delete? Bueno, partial delete is when you have a exponent even, but no have equal sign, no equal sign, no equal sign. Partial delete. You consider like a whole. And when it's equal, you delete totally. You ignore. This is no important. Okay, another example. Uh, I like this example. It's good. Suppose. Example three. Suppose x minus five. X minus four. Is square. Let's dance. Well, I realize. Wow. It's partial delete. Partial delete this guy. Because the point is even. And our inequality have no equals. So you would write, you write, you write. This is equivalent. This simply indicate equivalent, guys. 100% to this. Okay, you write x minus 5. Less than 0. And it's like a compound inequality. x no 4. It's a compound inequality separated by and conjunction. Okay, I solve in this. Uh -huh. Now, I copy. I, I solve it as always happen. The compound inequality, you ending the solution graphically. Let's say this is negative infinity, positive infinity. Uh -huh. This is zero. This is five. No, five, no. Hello, 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 hello. This is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is five, and this is four. Uh, and that case is less than. This is less than, less than, less than is that part. Less than five. But I know very, very well that in four we have a four. What is my final answer? Well, my final answer is from negative infinity, comma four. Okay, it's this interval. And we're using another color. Okay, one. Stop here. A hole in four. And we have another piece in green gold. Okay, for four, four to five. Uh -huh. It's union. Union, union, union. Four, comma five. Boom. Finals. Okay, in this case was partial delete. And the reason it was partial delete is because we have no equal sign. In this scenario, if we have equal sign, you totally delete this guy, completely, boom, stay away, and the whole disappear, and my answer is from negative infinity to five. No hole in the middle, no. Do you understand very well? Super cool. I like this class. Okay, because I want to complicate your life. I bring a special, sophisticated example. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I bring sophisticated example to you three very well. Sophia. Corina. Karina. Karina. So, look, suppose this. This is a typical example in the test, no? It's complicated. You need to do everything. You need to understand very well this. Uh, suppose. Black color 2x cubed plus 5x squared 
less than ax plus 20. Wow, 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 wow. I don't understand anything. What the hell? Well, okay, the first thing you should do is uh, obviously uh, move everything to the left, no? Because the right hand side must be zero, no? Because a 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 8x minus 20 less than zero. This is mandatory. This is mandatory. This, this is mandatory. I saw even the tutor solving this kind of inequality and no guarantee right hand side zero to say this is crazy. I don't know how you get the answer. Okay. Now let's focus let's focus on the factorization. The factorization, 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 yes. Factorization, this couple and factorization the couple and the gcf and the red couple is x squared i guess so and we have 2x plus five. and the gcf and the blue couple i suppose get negative four no uh, and between a and 20, at least four is coming factor, and both are negative, so I take advantage. I factorization negative four, and I stay two x plus five. Wow, fantastic. I love you, Dad. When you are doing this, and you get exactly the same, this and this, that's because we finish for all of them. Yeah? I factor out two x plus five. Open new parenthesis, inside we have x squared minus. And I finish, no, 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 no because we have here a differences of a square. Uh, so you copy three parentheses. I have to explore just bring down and factorization. This is x, x, two, two, plus or minus. Boom. I enclose in the box because this, this is the beginning. Okay, I transform algebraically this, nobody understand this inequality original. And one new, easy, fantastic, not easy, but understandable inequality. And they are algebraically equivalent 100%. Super. What should I do? Well, critical value. Well, unfortunately, we have no even a spawn. No. Okay, so no delete, no partial delete, no totally delete. No, this idea, no, the exponent and the factor is one. Here, invisible, one, no, one, one, one. As you have exponent two, to so you delete. And you analyze a partial delete or, or totally delete. There's no delete. No delete. And you find now the uh, critical value, no? And the critical value R to explore five. You put equal to zero, no? equal to zero. I, I am doing fast because we are a spread. At the beginning, we don't know no? x plus two equals zero and x minus two equals zero. So let's do it. The first linear equation is two x equal negative five divided by two. X is equal negative five over two. If you want guys to see more clear, you convert this to the fraction, you put in the calculator and they said negative two points because it's clear at least for me to see the position of the point in the graphic bar this is negative two and this is positive cool now ready to make a partition i need to see this graphic bar this is for me is super important infinity positive infinity negative zero in the middle uh -huh. negative two point five negative one negative two negative two. negative two point five is in between negative two and negative two this is my first partition my second partition is negative two wow that's very very close and positive one two 
three partition, four interval. Okay, let me use the same color, cyan color for that part. Red color to differentiate a little bit. This piece gets too short. Uh, green and yellow. And yellow. So in the test, you don't need to use a color. Of course. I use in color in the war. First of all, because I have the secondly to emphasize the idea. Now the test input. Selection, technical, and plural. They are seven. We have four because we have four interval. I select in the table negative three. Uh -huh, nice. I like that. I select 2.4 negative here. This is this is negative 2.5. And before so to the left, to the right, sorry. Eh, negative. 2.4 or 2.3 or 2.1 or 2. Point whatever. Well, this is uh -huh. now zero is good. I like zero so much. Zero is a fantastic testing point. Okay, only we can use it. And um, three maybe or four or four, five. Three. Okay. Now create the thing. Testing point. It's a negative three. It's a negative two point four. It's zero. Um, 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 okay. uh, the fact that we have in our problem is R two x plus five. It doesn't matter. The order is not important. We evaluate one by one. X plus two. X one. And don't forget the important part is the extra column in which you condense the information. So, okay, ready, ready to plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Negative three is open. It's two times negative three, it's negative six. And negative six plus five is negative. Negative three here is negative also, negative three plus two. And negative three is negative five. Three negative is negative. Cool. 2.4 here. You put in the calculator if you want. So you multiply 2.4 times 2. It's all you get 4.8. Let me check it with the calculator. 2 times 2.4 is 4.8 negative. And to say negative 4.8 plus 5 is all you get positive. It's all you get 0.2. Do you understand the computation of this? Huh? Now 2.4 negative, but 2 is negative, and this is negative, 2 negative positive. Cool. And 0 is positive because of 5, 0 is positive because of 2, and 0 is negative because of negative 2, because of negative. When 1 negative is negative. And three is six is positive, positive, and positive. I come back to the original problem. The original problem have less than zero. And this is equivalent to C to be negative. So in this example, the true guys is the negative. But this is true. And it's true. And the rest of course is false. Yeah, I don't care the four, I care the two. So the testing point that passed the test was three and negative three. The rest no. Uh huh. What is my final answer? Well, my final answer is from, 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 from negative infinity. The basic is the interval uh, cyan color, so blue, little bit light blue. The answer is from negative infinity, comma, uh -huh. be careful, guy, because I don't want uh, the student, I don't know, belief. 
que the interval is 2 until the testing point. No, the testing point was one stupid guy in the middle of the interval que hay testing to verify. Suppose que, suppose que the interval is a country. Y I go to the Guatemala, no? Y I ask you one arbitrary citizen. What, what is your citizenship? Because I test it. But the country is to the board, the, the boundary. And the boundary is, is this number, the, the critical value. So it basically is from negative infinity, comma, negative 5 over 2, to 2.5. And not include the boundary because our inequality is a strict inequality. No include the endpoint. No. No. And the yellow part is from 2 to infinity. Oh, well, let me see. Hey, 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 I make a mistake, coño. Look, 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 look. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Remember the true is the negative. The negative is this and this. Oh, you am crazy. O sea, this is wrong. The true is this and that. Is, is zero. Okay, the solution is the cyan color and the green color, not no the yellow. Okay, it says, we oui, are crazy. It's from negative two to positive two. Of course, do not include both endpoints because our inequality is strict inequality, no? It does never include the endpoint and union put together. Two interval. Two interval is the cyan color and the green code. Okay? Cool or no? Uh -huh. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. One more, one more uh, beautiful example. One more beautiful example. Let me try to find one cool example. This is the after next class. This is the next class. Okay, this one is no good. It's no big deal. Suppose this. Uh -huh, yeah, I have another. Uh, I have another special here. Okay, I want to show you. Okay, but first of all, no special. Suppose, suppose, suppose this example. Suppose it's similar. X to the four power less than we nine x squared. Uh -huh. Could you guide me, guys, to solve this? What should I do first? Step number one. Exactly, exactly, exactly. She said move a 9x squared to the left because I need right hand side zero. Right hand side must be zero. Now factorization the GCF is equal x squared. X squared, we have x squared again, minus 9. Very, very similar to example 2. But now it's the difference of a square. You separate this in two factors x square uh, x three and then this is idea is clear or no uh -huh. this inequality guy is equivalent to the original horrible but nice nice to see okay so you, we found wow and now we have Factor que contain exponent even two. And the professor say that sometimes it's deleted, sometimes no. I don't understand very well this idea. What do you think? You partial delete or totally delete? Partial? Partial? Partial delete. How do you know where the glue can give me information that's partial and not totally? What is the glue partially? 
Now, partially is a verb and partially is the object. Partially. Is because no equal. Very well. This clue, no equal, indicate also partial. Uh -huh. Entonces, let me explain in detail. This inequality, okay, I try to do my best to factorization. I change to this equivalent. You partial delete this boom boom, and you copy only x plus 3, x minus 3, less than 0. Uh -huh. But, como es partial delete, you include the whole. And the include the whole is you put and x non zero. So that's zero mm -mm -mm. is impossible to be source of the inequality. Okay? But you don't worry for this because basically as a whole, when you are doing the, the sketch of the old real number line, you know very, very well that zero we have a hole and in the story. Okay, now you ooh, 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 find the critical value and the critical value of that part at least is x plus 3 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. The solution is negative 3 and the solution is positive. Okay, ready. Ready to say now I do the partition. Let me erase that part. This is my famous or real number line. Uh -huh. We have two critical values okay, in positive three. One, two, three. Uh, why not? Negative. Uh, include zero. Why not? Include zero. Include zero. So we have this interval. We have this interval. We have this interval, and we have that one. I am not sure. Say so need to split this in red and blue. I am not sure. But just in case, and and now selection testing. The testing point I select my paper was negative four. I select negative one. This is zero. Negative one, zero, no, zero, no. negative one, positive one, and positive. This is the testing. Okay, ready. I test this one. Either way, you create the table or no table. We're going directly in the original, original, no. The original case and the inequality get enclosed in the box, right? So now, but of course, the term x squared do, do not participate in the table. The testing point are negative four, negative one, positive one, and positive. However, in the table, I include only x plus 3 and x minus 3. Because I know very well in zero we have a hole. I, I don't need to consider this at all. Okay, it's doing quickly because it's too easy. 4 negative is negative. 4 negative is negative. 2 negative is positive. 1 negative is positive. Negative one plus three, no? and negative one, negative three, and negative four. So negative okay. one is positive, and one is negative. Do you see that this interval red and green have the same behavior? It was not necessary to, to make the partition zero. No, not necessary. But okay, just in case, because I am not sure, I did that. Four is plus four. Because 4 plus 3 is 7, and you know, 4 minus 3 is 8. Okay, we come back at the beginning. The beginning, 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 our inequality is less than 0. 
let then zero is equivalent to say negative. But the negative guy is the true. Is this and this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But this and this separately or together, I have no sure to do. No, the problem is, the problem is that this idea give me information that in zero we have a hole. But actually, this is a hole and this hole separate this interval. Okay, so the first interval, my answer is, my answer is, my answer is from negative three to zero, oh, 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 oh no include negative three, no include zero. Two, 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 from zero, no include zero, two positive, and together. This is the final answer. Okay, beautiful. I uh have -huh. one more example to illustrate. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. Uh, Emily D. Emily D understand everything. Emily D is good. Emily D is the first thing is coming every class. Okay, now Emily D. I want to illustrate another example. Okay. Get the last one. I promise that next time we continue this, but using no polynomial anymore. No, 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 no. Using rational. The rational is similar, very, very similar. Remember, rational is division to polynomial. But introduce a new, new noise in the game. Let me try to explain the last one. And that's it for today. Because it's too much. Suppose it is. about this example. This example is, oh, this is easy, x squared plus 4 and x minus 5. Let's dance it. Okay, this I am not sure, I don't understand, but the professor explained me, for example, so you have x plus 4 square and x minus 5 uh -huh. different of a square no it's impossible because it's plus no minus uh, i agree with you see it's x square minus 4 we can break it down decompose and 2 and negative 2 but it's a plus you know that the solution here is imaginary right and I just say x square. Uh -huh. this, okay, ah. okay, okay, let me finish. Emily, look, this is you are doing the factorization in, in the complex field. You have 2i and 2i positive and negative. Because the solution is 2 plus and minus 2i. If you foil this x square minus 2i, 2i x plus. 2ix minus 4i square. This is cancel. It's obvious. And i square is negative 1 and negative 1 together and negative 1 is, is positive. So this is the factorization. But no, 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 no. I don't want to complicate with the imaginary number. No, no, please. But the thing I try to illustrate is this example is clear. This example. The second one. Because you solve the problem, you see partially delete. Partially delete, and you say, okay, this is x minus five less than zero, and you put the whole in four, the actual in a negative form, and because it's clear the four plus four is zero. Uh -huh. This is the answer. You solve this compound inequality, blah 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 blah, no problem. However, this is different. Uh -huh. What are the what are the what are the difference between this and this? Can look like similar. Okay, this is. You know very well that x squared is a parabola. Like the parabola. x plus 4 is a parabola also. But this parabola have horizontal shift for unit to the left. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And negative 4, we have the parabola. Exactly the same parabola, this parabola. But now it's moving to the left for unit. This is the horizontal shift. Or unit to the left because it's close. 
That is the reason que en negative 4 es, no, es zero de parábola, touch de axis, pero no se define de inequality, porque zero es no les dan zero. That is the reason que we introduce this. However, you see this que es different. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. It's completely different because x squared plus 4 is a vertical shift. But this parábola es 1, 2, 3, 4. This parábola is exactly the same, this parábola, look. But for unit upward, right? And this parábola never is zero. This parábola, this expression, 100% is positive. And this, no. And this, no. And this, the majority of the case is positive, but a negative four is zero. That is the reason that we're doing this. But in this case, no. And the yellow is always positive. So you totally delete, totally delete, and you solve in this inequality and ignore this. Be careful. This is an area and this is an area. Okay? Okay? Do you follow me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. One more day, one more day, one more day. Because we have four minutes. One more day. No example, detail, detail. No example. Suppose this inequality. Que are you familiar? Uh, suppose three x minus four x squared. Great Nancy. But okay. I don't understand very well what's going on in this tree. What should I do? Well, it's easy. When you have inequality. I never consider that you have a constant multiplication, multiplier. But I can destroy. How you destroy? Well, you divide it by three. And divide it by three here. So when you divide it by three, this three is cancel. So it's take like x minus four, a square, greater than zero. Because zero divided by three. So when you have, the thing I try to illustrate is, when you have a number, Positive, of course, positive number. You ignore this number. You mentally, how? Delete this guy. Boom, 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 boom. So you have another number, 20. No good, delete that. Ah, see, it's positive. Ah, see, it's negative. See, it's negative. See, it's negative. You can delete or no? No. Why not? Because it's a negative. You divide it by negative 20 both sides. Of course, you delete as x minus 4 is squared and 0 divided by any number is 0. But when you multiply or divide in equal, you should change the sign. So, so what is the rule? Let me explain the rule in one second. Suppose you have inequality. Suppose 3x plus 1 x minus 2 uh, greater than 0. You have another case, minus 5, x plus 7, x minus 4, uh, less than 0. Uh -huh. so you convert, immediately you see that, you see 1, 1, 1, okay, okay. Uh, the professor explained me, they want to pass the number, I totally delete. Chan, chan, delete. This is x plus 1, x minus 2, greater than 0. You will focus e in the solution. And in this case, no, the professor is claiming you delete, but you switch in the sign of this. So say it's x plus 7, x minus 4, greater than 0. And we focus it and solve this. Do you understand the last idea? Uh -huh. We practice more. More complicated, sophisticated, special. And you need to will be able to detect in the special case and apply the shortcut to do things. Okay. Okay, guys, too much for one day. I promise that next time I will send send the Monday, no? Monday I I will send. Let me let me stop sharing. You see my face now? Uh-huh. Monday, in the email of the, the Skype, 
which I will say, I send the review package. Because Monday, my plan is Monday, we are doing one thing and start Wednesday the review package at the beginning, everything at the beginning. Uh -huh, because uh, next, next, next Monday will be the test. Okay, according to the syllable, I suppose it's 25th. Let me check it just in case to make sure. Uh -huh, today is 18. 18 plus 7 is 20, 25. Uh, 25. So this is the 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 day guy planning and the syllable. No, 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 but I am no superhero. See uh, throughout the game, we need to extend it a little bit. Well, we extend it. We agree the best way for you. Okay. Bye bye. Have a nice day for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B